How majestic. I love this game. It's got such cool design, such cool little things to see. And welcome on back, everybody, to Guild Wars 2. I hope you are excited. We are going to be doing a little bit. What did I, it, when I came up here, I don't think this was here. Maybe it was, and I just am blind. Looks like we need to go this way to uh, deal with. Let's deal with this bull first. Um, I'm I just some quick updates and stuff on uh, what we are going to be doing with this character. I am going to be attempting trying out uh, using the mace and using the axe in my uh, offhand just because this one if you didn't realize from last episode, I get quickness, which skills and actions are faster. So my auto attacks do uh, are just faster and just makes it or I guess they're not auto attacks, but my one ability is faster and everything's everything is just faster. Um, and so I thought that was really cool. And if we use this, we can probably then switch pretty immediately to our gun. I'm going to try and use the rifle uh, just to have a ranged option. And I think that could be really, really cool. And I just want to give it a whirl and see what it's like. Now, let's deal with this uh, here guy. Oh, don't you touch me. Uh, which one is my jump away? Uh, I don't honestly know. Get out of here. All right, so I need to actually figure out. Is this my jump? Shoot an explosive when it's back an enemy. Immobilize and evade backwards. Okay, so that is the one that I, I thought I was, but I guess not. Let's kill this Minotaur. Aya. And double shoot him or triple shoot him. Shoot backwards. Boom. Oh, I bet I was just on a, um, a hill. Let's also see if this ability. So this strike your foe with both weapons gain quickness. So if I do this, do I actually get the quickness? No, I have to hit. Okay, that makes sense. That is better anyways. Because, uh, not make much sense if uh, you could do it. Can I harvest these little crystal things? No. Okay. Fewer players. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. We'll go to this. I do like that as well, where they're like, hey, your instance doesn't really have anything in it. Do you want to switch? Let's get some copper. That's always good. Hiya. Awesome. Nice copper. And then we'll try this again. Do that. And then. Whoa, that was cool. Oh, that like fully knocks back. That's interesting. Oh, if I move, does that mean? Interesting. OK, so if I move at all, this thing does not work. Hmm. OK, well, OK. Anyways, what we're doing today is we're going to be doing the personal story, which is down here. So let's go ahead and just get on into it because I'm excited. I, of course, I know the human story, but I don't know our personal story for this area. Uh, is it up here? No, it's around the other side. And I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm having a great time. I think it's quite a fun thing to be adding in some more. What is this? Uh, are you shaman? Ah, OK, this is it. Cool beans. Yeah, hey there, Slayer. Thank you for coming to help. I've got a serious problem. Wolf teaches us to pull together, to work as a pack. In his name, I ask for your help. I'm always willing to help, Gamling. Of course I will honor Wolf's teachings. Tell me your problem. It concerns the warrior shamans known as Havruns. Balder, the wolf Havruns' apprentice, was found in a death-like sleep in the woods. Nothing I do seems to help. There's one treatment I have yet to try, but it requires a special flower known as Winter Sage. And this Winter Sage can revive Valda? I hope so. Unfortunately, it can only be found deep in the Grawl Caves to the east, and it's extremely fragile. It will be difficult to get past the Grawl and return with the flower intact. If you can do it, bring the plant to me at the Great Lodge of Holbrek. I'll be there at Volda's side. 
I will obtain this precious flower, Grawl or no Grawl. In Wolf's name, I swear it. All right. In Wolf's name, Sons of Shawnir 10th. Damn, we don't need that. Right. We are doing our mission over yonder window break. We can go and do this. Very cool. Now, I will warn you, I very much may switch back to using the greatsword. I just love the greatsword, and I think it is a magical creation. And it's just so much fun to use. I mean, I it, maybe it's just because I like the idea of swinging an absolutely massive sword. What are you? Grawl Hunter. Okie dokie. We're going to fully ignore you. Wander around here. Are you an enemy? Demonic effigy. Oh, okay, this is the instance area right here. And we'll enter it. So I may very well switch back to the greatsword. I'm just an experiment and seeing what happens. And I think, uh, oh, okay, so I have to do this. Hello. Oh, I can't block that. It makes sense. Let's see, watch how much faster I am now. Hiya. Just so much faster. Hey. Okay, so what does. I need to reread. It's been a while since I've been playing my Necromancer a lot, but I haven't played this because I, I want to play this for videos, of course. So I stun them with a skull crack. Effect increases with adrenaline level. So I either stun them. We must get more adrenaline later on. That's the only way that I can think. What is this little mushroom? Movement speed increased, karma increased, experience increased. Okay. Uh, Okie dokie. Well, let's keep on going. And let's shoot these guys. Why in the world? Interesting. Don't touch me. Get back. Oh, I missed. Ugh. Kind of weird to play a warrior that uh, is not just in their face constantly. But I kind of like it. I kind of think it's kind of kind of interesting. It's a uh, hiya. Hiya, hiya. Woo -hoo. And then we'll do this. That. Oh, OK, never mind. You uh, are arranged. Stun you. Slap you in the brains. Ugh. What are you doing? Adrenaline surging. Whacked you in the face. Oh, there's a big boy. Sorry, I'm concentrating currently. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to switch back to the great sword. I'm sorry. I just... It's just too much fun. I gotta, I gotta say, it's just too, too much fun. Oh, that's a guy that's like an issue. Nope, don't want to do that. Winter Sage. Except for its reported restorative properties and the fact that it thrives in these dark, damp conditions, the winter sage seems like an unremarkable plant. Look at the blossom. All right, we're going to pluck it and we're going to run. I suppose a toy sword. It's OK, this is a small wooden sword. that looks like one child played with it. It's splintered and ragged. A clump of matted grawl hair is lodged in the blade. Someone used this sword for defense. There are sp Batters of old dried blood on the ground. Whatever occurred here happened long ago. The Grawl attacked a child. I'll kill ten of them for every tear that in tear that innocent shed. This brave child fought against the Grawl. I will see this innocent avenged. Okay. That, uh, yes. Okay. Let's. Uh, we can exit this way. Okie dokie. Very cool. Oh man, this this game is just so much. I gotta say. Now, where do we need to go to turn this in? 
Ah, looks like we're going, we're finally going to the city, I think. That's cool. Oh, sweet. I, I've never seen the, uh, Norn, is this, am I a Norn? Is that what it's called? I keep wanting to say I'm a Norn, and then I think I'm saying I'm a Nord, but I know that's not right. Ooh, Holbrack, man, this is gonna be an interesting, after the story, I may have to go and do a whole bunch of sightseeing because, uh, I, oh, whoa, look how freaking huge that building is. Man, that is like octacore levels of big. That's insane. If, any of you, if you don't know, if you're here just for the Guild Wars, octacore is something I did for the steampunk city in my Minecraft Let's Play. And uh, it was absolutely gargantuan. We will get the vistas and all sorts of stuff later on. I want to focus on the story for today. So we're just going to keep on wandering through. This is a really... This is such a cool just style. I really, really like it. And look how freakishly huge these doors are. How do you open these? Like, I'm tiny compared to these doors, and I'm huge compared to normal humans. Like, how, 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 how? how? I don't understand. Yes, let's enter the instance. Oh, these people are so cool. I really like Viking aesthetic type stuff is totally my jam. I really, really love it. Yeah, this is this building's huge. I can't imagine building it like even in like Minecraft or something. Here's the Winter Sage, Gamli. Hello, Air. Did the shaman summon you to help as well? He says she came by to observe you, but Wolf wishes her to be here. Valda's been slipping in and out of consciousness, raving about the spirit world. The sage should calm her down. She keeps saying the same thing over and over. Invaders in the mists. Can her ravings have any meaning? Only shamans and Havruns can freely travel there. Then we need another Havrun to help us. We must see what's happening in the mists for ourselves. Snow Leopard's Havrun Svenna is friends with me, as well as Valda and Master Solvi. Meet me at her shrine, and we'll ask her for her help. Nice. Oh, we get the pick of the litter here. Okay, so we've got Chainmail, gives us power. Ringmail gives us precision, and Scale Gauntlets give us vitality. I'm gonna go with power. I'm just gonna go with the general concept of... The more power, the, 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 you know, the more you can uh, slap people. Okay, we'll equip that. I definitely need to buy some more bags. Oh. Yeah, trading post, whatever. Because uh, <laughs> we do not, can I do this? Oh, it's a specialization. All right. Axe, not as good, but probably better than uh, the current axes we have. 112, 142, yeah. All right, and anything else here? What is this? Chest of Loyalty? What in the world is that? Double click the open contains a permanent 2% increase to account gold, find, and choice of ascended crafting materials, legendary crafting materials, laurels, and tomes of knowledge. Okie dokie. Uh, we do. Oh, and a choice of chest of ascended crafting, legendary crafting, plentiful laurels, or grand experience. Uh, let's do the grand experience. That sounds like fun. Uh, sure. Why not? And then this is double click grants permanent. Okay. So this is the gold increase. Nice. This is the grand experience gives us six tomes grants one character level. If below level 80 or one spirit shard, if level 80 interesting, I may actually, you know, this may sound cheesy, but I may mail this to my necromancer because I don't really want to do that with uh, this character. I kind of want to actually do the grind on this one, but I'm fine with uh, boosting my necromancer. So I may actually do that. And uh, I know that may be a little dorky to do. Stupid, but uh, here. Wait, all the way, all the way back here. Okie dokie, I'm gonna teleport back there. That's also what's really cool is in this, you can teleport around and it costs money technically, but your money is shared through your account. So because I have a higher level character and 
you just get money in general. Like we have five gold and it costs like eight copper to travel. So it's like negligible amounts. And I think that's a uh, pretty darn cool. This is a mighty sword. This is a another thing. We could also try out if we really wanted to spice that up a little bit, we could try out. So this is the vital iron sword and this is the short sword. And we have another one. Dual blade. Ah, maybe we didn't. Sorry, Mavericks was being a freak, but that's OK. What I was saying is uh, we could try being a little spicy and doing some double double just regular sword action. I don't know what this one does. Uh, so this ability with it on my offhand is throw my sword at the foe and you t then you can uh, rip it from them. Oh, OK, and we should probably be heading in the right direction. And then this is block the next attack, repost and bleed your foe. If you attack, if you block a melee attack, gain adrenaline if if you are not attacked. OK. Avrun Svenna will be at the shrine. I know she'll want to help us. Hey, who are you, Garm? Oh, she must be a hunter then. Okay. So, yeah, I don't really know if I'll like uh, using the belong, but we can give it a whirl. Hello, Havron Svenna. Continues. You have my attention. Any threat to Wolf's Havron also threatens my friend Svenna, the Snow Leopard Havron. Wait, wait, also threatens my friend Svenna, the Snow Leopard Havrun. She is bound to help us once once we explain the situation. If she is smart like I expect, she'll help us get the sons before they, they get her. She'll do it. Who could refuse two of Holbrook's greatest living legends? I would expect any loyal Havrun to stand with us against this defilement of them. I'm going to do the dignity. It sounds right. Dignite. Hey, Havrun, what you got to say? Erster Galkin, good to see you again. And you've brought the Slayer of Isormir. I'm honored by your visit. The honor is mine, but this is not a social call. We've come for your help. Something awful is happening in the mists. As I feared, I've been sensing disorder in the spirit world, and Wolf's Shrine is shrouded in dread. Tell me what you know. Valda, the wolf apprentice, was struck down by something she saw in the spirit world. Now she's gone mad, ranting and raving. Her master, Havrun Solvi, is missing. Shaman Gamli has done all he can do for Valda. But we need your help to enter the spirit world and right this wrong. I see. I can take you, but it will be dangerous. Opening a portal requires all my concentration. Once we're in, I'll need you to protect me, or we might not get out again. Let's get started. Leopard willing, we won't be too late. Ooh, uh, we're going to the spirit world. Snow Leopard, grant us your stealth. Let us slip into the land of secrets. We come to aid those who have devoted themselves to defending the spirits of the wild. Bless us with your vision, and shield us from the rising evil. Grant us safe passage to the mists. Oh, there's the portal. We shall travel there. Very cool. Wait, that. It's just. The... Oh, why is there a son of Spawnier here? Hook. Sons of Svanir in the spirit world? Impossible. Yeah, that's no what good. I was wondering. We're too vulnerable here. I'm taking us back to the waking world. I need time, and I can't be interrupted. Keep me safe while I perform the ritual. Here they come. Defend Havrun Svenna. Where are they coming from? Oh. Hello. Kind of hard to see their health bar. I can't tell if they're like super low or not. Stay alert. There's another wave coming. They're coming 
outside? Yes, they are. Hello, hi yeah. And let me rip this from you. Poke. I think, honestly, the reason why I like the great sword more is because uh but let's try the bow out for one i think i like the great sword more because of the it just feels more impactful and i think that's that's why i'm just gonna do that because i every single time I, I like i use the swords or i use the other use any other weaponry i mean the bow felt pretty good there it felt pretty strong but I just don't feel like impactful when I'm using anything but the great sword. It's just kind of strange. I don't know. I do like the bow as the offhand. Ooh, we leveled up. I didn't even see that. Cool. Level 11. Okay, cool. We get f hero points. Introduction to hero points, which is you can unlock skills by spending hero points and the training tab inside the hero panel. Hero points are earned by leveling up by completing hero challenges found throughout Tyria. And then Adrenaline Stage 2. What is this? You've unlocked Stage 2 of Adrenaline. Your Adrenaline Bar can now fill an additional stage, which increases the effectiveness. Okay, so it, with this, bow, effectiveness, uh, well, I don't really. Okay, let's see. Does this have a, a Stage 2? Okay, so this one doesn't have a Stage 2. This one does. Stage two, 20% critical chance. Interesting. Okay. Accept. Next level, we get crafting. Very cool. So let's do some leveling up before we complete this little thing. So we can kick people. <laughs> Push your foe back with a kick. That's kind of, that would be kind of funny. How many points do we have? Six. Uh, throw bolas. Okay, so we can do signet training, which regenerate health just passively. Interesting. Improves power. That one's always good to go with. Then improves precision, endurance, and reduces incoming damage. So some of these are better for just like longevity in a fight. This is the stance training. So def defiant stance, you heal yourself, absorb all incoming strikes for a period of time. Okay, so this replaces our Q and not doesn't give us an E. Frenzy to gain quickness and might. That actually could be really good to just make our attacks go crazy. Gain stability and swiftness uh, on an interval. Become immune to critical hits. Okay. Take no damage from attacks. You are still susceptible to conditions and control. That sounds kind of OP. Gain adrenaline for a short time. Gain pulsing resistance. Huh. Cool. Shout training. What is shouts? Heal yourself and regain all adrenaline. Nearby allies gain endurance. So wait, if you use this and you so you do your do like say we're using our great sword, but you do our spinny spin move. We use this, we do our spinny spin move again immediately. That sounds pretty cool. Grant fury and might to yourself. Call out a call out target foe to make them vulnerable. Cool. Cure conditions on yourself and nearby allies. Also breaks a stun. And then induce fear on your foes. Fear duration increases based on your distance to the enemy. Okay, so maximum fear must be that they're super close. And then, okay, what's banner training? Place a banner that improves power and condition. And condition damage for you and nearby allies. Picking up the banner reduces the recharge of this skill. Place a banner that grants a bonus toughness and vitality to you and nearby allies. Picking up the banner reduces the recharge. Place a banner that increases healing. Banner that improves precision and ferocity. And then this. Place a, ban a battle standard that revives fallen allies and finishes down foes. Once placed, the banner periodically grants boons. That sounds crazy. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of thinking I like this whole frenzy concept. So we're going to train this because we get this heal. Heal yourself, absorb all incoming strikes for a period of time. And then we also get this, which is the frenzy and frenzy to gain quickness. I think that's really good. This is this seems like a really nice one to start off with because it gives us some more like just makes our regular abilities do stuff. 
Um, and then I think I may do the signet training because we, so we have this remove conditions and heal myself. Then we have this heal yourself, absorb all incoming strikes for a period of time. All incoming attacks heal you. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we'll do that instead of doing the signet because this is a heal one and would replace our Q. I'm not going to do that. This guy stopped flashing at me. I'm going to do this anyways. Physical training. We could kick people as well. I mean, oh, we didn't even read this, did we? So we can kick peeps. Uh, we can throw bolus to immobilize them. We can charge and knock down the foe. And then gain stability and launch nearby foes into the air with a powerful stomp. Gain oh, that sounds cool. Uh, too bad we can't do that. And then this last one, take the form of a massive juggernaut, reducing the damage you take and the duration of incoming movement. Meetings. Oh, okay. It sounds interesting. What is this stance? Adrenaline for a short time. Yeah, the stance kind of sounds interesting to where you're just like kind of going between different stances and all that. All that jazz. This is heal yourself, regain all adrenaline. Nearby allies gain endurance. I kind of want to do this one as well and see what it's like. Um... So I think, yeah, heal yourself, regain all adrenaline, nearby allies gain. So if I do this, yeah, then it immediately fills this to 20. That's pretty good, I think. And then this, yeah, makes it so it's faster. Oh my, yeah, this is, this is going to be, oh, and we get might, dude, dude. That's cool. All right, Svenna. Sorry. The I, journey I, continues. Oh, not you. Uh, my attention. Uh, okay. Any threat to wolves have rune? Also, my friend, but, 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 I would expect any to have stand with us against. Okay, I already did that. You. Okay. Distractions aside. I've never seen anything like this. Jormag isn't a spirit of the wild. Its followers should not be able to enter the spirit world, even if they call themselves shamans. That could be why Valda was ranting about invaders. The Sons of Svanir must have attacked the Wolf have Rune like they attacked us. I need to rest and meditate to regain my balance. Afterward, I will speak with Valda. That won't be easy. Valda is raving, lost in madness. Nothing she says makes sense. Not to you, perhaps. But maybe I can decipher it. I'll meet you in the Great Lodge. Okie dokie. A lot of running back and forth between here and the Great Lodge, but... Uh, that's okay. Okay, back to the Great Lodge, right? Mm -hmm. Back to the Great Lodge. Here we go. Holbrack. Yeah, Holbrack is a sick city. This style is like, it's like, it's very Viking, but it's also Nordic Viking, whatever. Um, But it's also got a little bit of like, this game just in general has like a, a theme. Oh, it's okay got a theme of like steampunk which is pretty pretty cool uh there's a lot of the human world itself the human area has a lot I I of steampunk more. stuff Taking others with it's me was more it's pretty cool it's all right volda's condition has not improved i believe her spirit is stuck between this world and the mists she cannot return fully to her body. How is that possible? Have runes can physically enter the mists, but we can also leave our bodies behind and send just the spirit. It is extremely difficult. What if Solvi was killed while teaching Valda how to step into the mists? It could leave her mind trapped there, lost in the spirits. Yes, but if we rescue her from the mists, we'll have to fight the sons of Svanir, and I am no match for them there. Then we need a more experienced Havrun. I suggest either Weeb of Raven or Gretchen of Bear. They do not get along at all, so we should approach only one of them. Agreed. Either would have a better chance than I. Gamli and I will care for Valda until you and the Slayer return. Well, <laughs> at least uh, Svenna is uh, well aware of her talent. Have you decided between Gretchen of Bear or Weeb of Raven? I'll take Gretchen Bear's method best. Where do I find her? I'll take Weeb Raven's method seem best. First, I need more information about these. What is Gretchen like? Gretchen is much like Bear. Huge and fierce and so powerful the ground shakes when she charges into battle. Into battle? What the heck is a battle? Into battle, a formidable ally. She sounds perfect. Impressive. What about Weeb? 
She's a necromancer. His dark, or oh, he's a ne necromancer. His dark methods are just and honorable, even with power over life and death. A valuable ally. Power over life and death is just what we need. Uh, let's go back to Gretchen and say she's perfect. We all cover a lot of territory. Only one have rune for each spirit. Last I heard, Gretchen went east to Breakneck Pass to investigate a vision of an ending disaster. The Breakneck Pass then. Thanks, Savannah. Very okay, cool. It looks like we're going to be going to that place. And then we can select this. This is a mighty great sword. Gives us power, which is great. We haven't checked out the Warhorn, but I'm probably not going to care that much about it. Okay, let's get out of here and then we'll check that great sword. See what if it's any better than what we've got currently. And I think it'll be a good thing. Uh, out of here. Oh. Do this and it is indeed just plain better so yep i am fine equipping that Let's see what's in here uh okay we just got one from that bag that is actually just better in general okie dokie and then let's open this nothing in there okay. okie dokie instant repair canister We've got three black lion chests yeah hmm okie dokie and i think that is gonna give us materials yeah so we man we need some inventory management here um okay so we're going to breakneck pass let's go here because we've already explored it interesting yeah this story is actually kind of uh wait. oh is this break this is breakneck wait i'm let me. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're gonna travel. Oh, oh, oh. I guess I could have gone just just gone through. It was right. Well, nine copper wasted. Doesn't really matter. Okie dokie. Let's get on going. Let's find and recruit Bear Have Rune Gretchen. Breakneck Pass. Gretchen, where are you? Yes, we're gonna enter there. I like the art in this is really cool. This, this place has different kind of loading screens than uh, a lot of places. Also, it's kind of annoying that you have to just... Whoa, just where did but you come like from? Maybe okay, and why were you just sitting there? Halt, driver, stop this caravan. Get out of the way. Who are you? What do you think you're doing? We are on a tight schedule. I am Gretchen Havruna Bear, and I'm saving your miserable lives. Now be still. Oh my goodness. Woo. Hi. Yeah. Throw my sword. Run at you. Okay, I don't get how to freaking use <laughs> that. I really don't. I honestly, like, how, how do I use that? Who's who the ahead. urban leader? How did you do? Okay. Charge and strike your foe. Does that really mean? Oh, is that a bad guy? Oh no, he's right. He, he's a bad guy right there. Okay, let 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 let, let, let let's experiment. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go here, and will I just run and strike him? Okay, so I just need to target better. Okay, that makes sense. Ooh, and then uh, hi. Caravan leader, dude, he is so bad. He's dead again. Jumping from the cliffs above. Watch yourself. Yeah, I'm not even gonna revive him. There's like no point. These caravan guards are so worthless. It's just. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, okay. What do you do? <laughs> Primony. Clear the roads. Yeah. I did it. I slapped that snow so hard that it cleared itself. Cool beans, man. Uh, let's just do this and then just absolutely chop the crap out of that. Meow.
Guns of Svanir, what are you doing here? Uh, oh, jeez. I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Oh, jeez. Those guys were absolutely wrecking me. Ice brood berserker. Interesting. What are these two? Come back. You guys actually all seriously dead? Oh, 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 what? What's going on? Why are they all dying? How are you guys all dying? Hey, did you not get revived? No, you did. Maybe I don't need to do like having something to I don't even and I'm so baffled as to how I feel like my defense is just heinous I think I just need to figure out what the uh, best the best like combo is because I really don't have any idea. I really just don't. I, I, I like I, I think I'm too used to my other character right now. Speak to bear Bear, You're so slow. What are you doing? Ooh, we should try out. You know, I know I said last episode we didn't need to try out uh, bear. I can't talk to you. We should try out the hammer. I think that could be fun too. Ersta Gulkin! Why, those louses in Holbrek said you'd retired. There's Fuzzy Backside, is that the Slayer of Isarmir with you? None other. How did you know there would be an attack on this caravan? I had a warning from Bear. Did she also bring you here to aid me? No matter, I owe you a debt of thanks. How can I repay you? Somehow, the Sons of Svanir have entered the spirit world. They struck down the wolf Havrun Solvi and his apprentice, Valda. I've never heard of the sons being able to enter the spirit world. With Bear as my witness, it will not stand. There's more. Solvi is missing, and his apprentice's spirit is trapped in the mists. We must help Valda return if we hope to find her master. With your help, we can find Valda's spirit in the mists, and hopefully save Havun Solvi. Done. Just let me finish escorting this caravan. I'll meet you in Holbrek's Great Lodge as soon as I can. Okay. Oh, good. We got armor. Let's see. Precision and vitality. I'm kind of thinking about vitality just so that I can stay alive because that was seemed to be a little bit rough, but I don't. This is giving armor, so we'll just go with it. Oh, no, I can't carry more. All right, there we go. So we'll carry this and then, okay, let's leave this first. Oh, we leveled up too, cool. That's cool. Okay, so what do we get when we leveled up? Yeah, we can do upgrades, salvaging, and crafting. This gives concentration. All right, what is concentrate? We're gonna go with the power. Ugh. this inventory is killing me. Okay, let's, and we can't do anything with this. Oh my God. Oh, gosh, this is absolutely heinous. Ah, there we go. That is absolutely rescue the spirit of the wolf. I think we're going to leave this on a cliffhanger because we've been recording for quite a while and I don't want to uh, push it. So we're going to pick up right here where we left off. And I think that will have to do it for this epi episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode of Guilt Wars 2. Bye-bye.